to Houston, Texas, and Minute Maid Park. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Houston Astros. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Your Don Alvarez. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I and mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away in it back ball well he's allowing just over one base runner per inning which is really good especially for a starter because these hitters get to see you two three maybe even four times in a start so just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is we'll see if it's that way in this one not close with that one now two and oh Ball. Way high. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. That one That's misses. Take so a leadoff walk. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's Andres Jimenez. Verlander moved to first, and he's back standing. This is again five in a row. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second and he's out. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. One out, base is empty. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Ball Up and two. in, two and two. Just misses. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. One down, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone, really making him work out there. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. Righty deals. And it's one and one. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. Verlander keeping him close. The pitch. Ball. Two balls. One strike. That one at 95 missed up top. Ball three.
Man, at first one away. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit. Slightly. Runner on the go. In there for strike three. Go to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Trying to make something happen there on offense, but that's the risk you run. Awesome. Strike him out, throw him out, double play to end the inning. here in Houston and towing the slab in this one number 39 and Singy that may be his name but the strikeout is his game well Boog, I can tell you've been working on that one but yes you are right this guy's strikeout per nine over 11 I mean that's just getting it done there are a lot of strikeouts in that other lineup and when you look at what he's able to do man it's going to be a fun one to watch today standing in is the power hitting second baseman Jose Altuve as he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm, delivers. Altuve, a guy who loves the first pitch, that time taking, and it's nothing in a one. Next offering is in for a strike. Chop to first, and foul ball. And the right hander deals. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Well, oftentimes that's the pitch he's trying to set off, the curveball. He'll lean on it pretty heavily. So you got to be expecting it. Look for it and sell out so you don't miss it when you get it. Now it's Alex Bregman. And that's outside. a one two and downstairs two balls two strikes oh. struck him Ooh. out looking with the off speed stuff that is cool. here's Jordan Alvarez Jordan Alvarez and first offering is fouled off Two outs, base is empty. He swings and fouls one off. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. The wind of the pitch. Ball Just outside. misses. And that is ball one. It's a good take. That's Missed inside with the curb. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And a pitch. That Look one that. misses, and it's 3 and 2. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if. His run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head-to-head. -head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Two outs. Stays alive. Him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Astros are down quietly. Scoreless after one.
new inning getting started and now it's Josh Naylor all around I think if you asked anyone in this organization who's the best hitter in the lineup they would say him Verlander back to work that misses the zone and that's ball one And that curveball drops in there for a strike. One, one. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. And a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just lost the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. David Fry digs in now. That one is absolutely belted. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. Off the bat, I thought they were going to score their first run of the game, and that feels like a tough break, but look at the bright side. Really good contact at the plate, and now they're working with not just one, but two runners in scoring position, so they'd love another base hit right here. Now it's the right fielder, Will Brennan. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. The pitch. Ball, go. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. With the go-ahead run at third, here at the top of the second. Chop to the right side. Tosses to first, and that is a big first out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at-bat. So two in scoring position with one out. So in now for Cleveland, Tyler Freeman. And that one fouled off. That's outside. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Here comes a pitch. One down, runners at second and third. That one misses, and it's three and two. Bo Naylor in the on-deck circle. At the belt and fires. In the air, right side. Tucker on the move. Squeezes it. Runners tagging from second and third. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, we finally have a score in this ball game. Sack fly. Nice job of manufacturing a run. And that could end up being a big run at this rate. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And Cleveland on top one zip. Yeah. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Two outs with a runner at third. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. 
Swing and a miss, and that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Guardians one, and the Astros nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Kyle Tucker. The right field. So now here's Kyle Tucker. Tucker, former fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft by the Astros. This guy's turned into a whale of a player. The right hander back to work. And that's in the dirt. One ball, no strike. This to center field. And Tucker is retired. And there's one away. That is good. Not shortstop. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Oh one. In the air, right field. Brennan should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that quickly, two that away. The designated hitter. Yeah. Next is the designated hitter, Yainer Diaz. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And yeah, there's a ball. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Fights that one away, still 1 and 2. And it skips in the dirt. Next oh, pitch yeah. is downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two down, nobody on. Center field. Freeman under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Back here in Houston, here's Brian Rocchio. The shortstop, Brian Rocchio. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Next offering down in the dirt. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. Quan now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. This to third. Bregman to first. And a couple of quick outs. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. He reached out a walk his first time. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Good eye in that spot. One ball. Two down, One nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Now fly ball to right center. Tucker should have it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Here at Minute Maid Park as we go to the last of the third. And here is Mauricio Dubon. Yeah, there's the strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Check swing, went around. No balls, two strikes. Swinging one away. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. They found a way to just get it by him. Jose Abreu up to hit. That catches the corner. Looking to get the tying run on base. 1-1. One, one. Popped up. That's out number two. Batting nine. The catcher, Victor. Vic Caratini at the plate. Just Ball. missed. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One strike. Two outs. Ripped, but it curls foul. The one, two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for Houston. And it remains 1-0. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's Jose Ramirez. And the right hater back to work. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and he's got a leadoff double. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Here's Josh Naylor. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. No. Close one doesn't get the call. One and oh. You know, these Guardians showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this ah. offense. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Man at second. Ground ball up the middle. Nice grab. To his knee, the throw. On the money. Nice play. 
Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. Digging in, David Fry. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Now the one and a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A two-run homer, his second of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. So one out, nobody on. Will Brennan getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty. That's strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. The pitch. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. That one's back there. And it's off the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. And it's fouled away. Verlander picks hey. over. Brennan back in on a dive. And now the one. Swing it a foul straight back. That misses. Now one and two. Two runs across in the inning. Top half of inning number four. Pitch in the dirt. The count now two and two. Two strikes. And he deals. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Naylor in play. now. Takes ball one off the plate. Activity in the bullpen for the Astros for the first time. Hunter Brown getting ready to go. Blanco also throwing. Man on second, two down. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Cleveland with a pair on this blast. It's now 3 0. Major League Baseball is on the show.
And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jose Altuve. The wind of the pitch. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. That one rip, but foul. Righty delivers. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets to it, on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Here's Alex Bregman. Struck out looking in his first at bat. And there's a strike. Offering misses down and away. One, one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off speed pitch. One. That one not close. And it's two and one. Hard hit, right side. Tosses to first. And they get Bregman for the out. Up next to the Astros. The center fielder, Jordan. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Caught looking his first time up. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Two down, nobody on. And there's a foul ball. The Astros still looking for their first hit in this one. In the dirt, and a count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Not even close there. Three and two now. Kyle Tucker waiting to hit for Houston. Outside, and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Swing and a miss. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The Strohs trailing by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two outs. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. He was all over that one. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. His home and away splits there. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. High ground ball for base stop. Headed for the play. He scores. Now down by two. It's 3-1. 
Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a move being made at second base. On to pinch run. Jake Myers. So first and second with two outs. Gaynor Diaz now at the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. So the tying run at second. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Quad sizing this one up. Brings it in for the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. So coming into the game now on defense, Jake Myers. He takes over and right. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brian Rocchio struck out swinging his first time. Verlander back to work. That's in for a strike. Curve hit right back to him. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now batter, the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. And up next for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. He's 0 for 1. Bunt attempt popped up. Bregman racing over to make the catch. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or it can be bunted right back at a position player. Popped up left side. Pena makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Guardians go down in order, but they still lead it 3-1. here in Houston go. bottom of the Look inning the here's Mauricio Dubon the left fielder. Mauricio. and the pitch Dubon. and that's in for a strike well these Astros just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one they're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority but it's just not happening for them so far zero extra base hits in the game so it's been tough for them to get anything going the one one is fouled off Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have runners in scoring position because they put themselves there. Fouls it off, still one and two. And here it comes. And another ball. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. And now it's going to be Jose Abreu. First time up was a pop out. And a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. In there safely. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. 
So a change being made at first base. Coming in as a pinch runner, Greg Kessinger. Here's the catcher to hit, Victor Caratini. Went down on strikes his first time through. And fouled off. With the winning run at the plate, last half of inning number five. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. In to score from third. It's 3-2. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. You're out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 39 is done, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. One Very high with that one. And it's 1-0. Oh. So the tying run at second. High fly ball, right field. He's under it. And it's caught for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Two on, one out. And now it's Alex Bregman. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Double steal. Fought off foul. Big spot. Tying and winning runs aboard with one down. Here the home team trying to pull it out. And a count one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Out towards left center. He's under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Up next to the Astros, the center fielder, Yordan Alvarez. Astros down to their last out. And now Yordan Alvarez trying to deliver as the hero. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now to play, oh. it's like everyone else is in slow oh, motion oh. No and he's in full speed. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Two on, two outs. Checks his swing, now would appeal to third. No swing, just held it back there. The two on. And another ball. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate, runners in scoring position, and a hitter's count. Jake Myers to bat next. Fouls one away and now three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. 
Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. The Astros down to their final strike. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. Two outs to the right side. Throw to first, ball game. And the Guardians hold on to win a nail biter. Stranding the winning run on base. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.